Hello, thanks for watching this quick video explaining the easiest way I've found to photograph hummingbirds using a fairly basic digital SLR setup and hummingbird feeder. For these shots, I used a Canon 60D, which is about 10 years old at this time, and a Canon 24-105 f4 lens, which is one of the cheapest L-series lenses you can buy used, but even a kit lens would work for this. I also have a tripod and generic remote shutter. If you hold the shutter button down, it will continuously shoot just like the camera shutter will, and you don't even need batteries in the remote to use it in this way. I also keep Velcro strips on my tripod and remote shutter because I use the remote shutter a lot for astrophotography and it's just more convenient that way. Hummingbirds move very quickly so we know we're going to need a fast shutter speed. To control the shutter speed without shooting entirely in manual mode, we're going to shoot in shutter priority. If you're using a Canon camera, that's going to be TV on the top dial. It's S on some other manufacturers. Uh, you can manually focus, but I use autofocus to focus on the feeder and then lock in the focus by switching over to manual focus. The only reason I do this is because I wear glasses and I have a really strong prescription, so sometimes things appear in focus to me while I'm shooting and then I go to edit and I find out they weren't actually in focus. Um, definitely don't leave the lens in autofocus though, you want to switch to manual because the hummingbirds are very fast and if your camera is trying to find focus on them, they're probably going to fly away before you find your focus. Press Q to adjust settings. Shutter should be at 1 2,000th of a second for the sharpest photos. Uh, I start with the ISO and auto and go ahead and adjust it if needed. You're going to want to set the drive mode to high speed continuous. And I set the white balance to daylight, but AWB or auto white balance usually works just fine. Um, if you think you'll forget to change it back, just set it to auto. And then you can press Q again to exit the adjustment screen. Press menu and scroll over until you find the auto power off setting. Um, my default setting was at one minute. I increased it to 15 minutes. Um, you can set this to whatever you want, but unless you have a lot of hummingbirds, you're probably going to be waiting longer than a minute and you don't want the camera to shut off on you. So I have some examples of shots taken. The first shots I took at one 1250th of a second, and you can see that the wings are quite blurry in these shots. These next images were taken at 1 1600th of a second, and you can see that they're much sharper. I should have had a lens hood on for these photos, and also they were taken a little bit late. They're quite backlit because the sun was setting. Um, I am shooting these off of an apartment patio, so I'm kind of limited to where I can put the feeder. But I will show you some edited versions that are cleaned up a little bit. So these are going to be those same images after I've done some editing on Photoshop. And you can see the wings are, actually the whole bird is substantially less blurry than at the 1 1250th of a second. And then finally, I will show you some unedited photos at 1 2000th of a second. And here you can clearly see the detail in the feathers on the wings. Um, if you're having any trouble with the birds just flying away at the camera shutter sound, they get used to it really quickly, so just spend a couple hours out there. Eventually, they'll just stay and eat. They won't fly away. So thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy, and thanks so much.